Philip, you get both. Look at this. Let's put them together. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. You get both of these for four easy payments of $7.47, free shipping and handling. And Philip, you told me that this is the climbing rose, whether you have a giant estate or a small patch of Precisely. Ground. I mean, Manhattan Island is not very big, but of course we know that Manhattan is big because they went up with the skyscrapers. Yeah. And here are your two skyscrapers here, both extremely fragrant and Angel Face has always been my favorite. The lavender roses are the most fragrant of all. But that's beautiful, get, Philip. You get that one, and it has got hints of clove in it, which I really, really like. Wow. But beautiful lavender flowers on that, and then we also have handle. How are these under $15 a piece? I could not buy a bouquet of roses for $15, or, let alone. Or a shrub rose. Yeah, or yeah, this let alone climber. get this. What is it going to climb? Well, you can put, put, this is the way they used to do it. This is the way my great aunt did it. And I'm okay. starting to do it in gardens myself. I do a six or seven foot post. I just go buy a big post. I put it right in the ground and I grow it in the middle of the yard. So I've got a column of roses in the oh, middle I of love the yard. That idea. Everybody thinks, oh, I've got to have a trellis. You know, I've got to have an arbor, all of those things. You can have them stand alone in the middle of the yard really dramatically and then do a flower bed all the way around oh, wow. it. You can have daylilies all around the base of this and this coming out as the centerpiece now, of your day. These are in bed. pots. Is that something that's practical? Like let's say you wanted to grow these on a deck? Per, as long as you've got a whiskey barrel sized container Ugh. and I would get uh, you know something a sturdy one so that the pot doesn't fall apart. Yeah because apart. they're they're definitely going to need a larger pot. So They'll whiskey a barrel sized container and you could put them on your deck. Indeed and they will grow across in fact once they hit the top they'll grow across the railing if you have them by the railing wow. or if you've got a trellis that's over on the wall of your house they will grow up that uh, trellis. Oh my gosh this is amazing. Look at that. <gasps> that's and what they look like when they're together. Oh my gosh. Wow. And think about not just the color, but think about all of the fragrance. These get eight to 10 feet tall. And when you mix them together, that's a look you can expect to have. On a birdhouse post, it's great on either side of your garage entrance, or if you've got an arbor. I don't have an arbor, so I've got mine on either side of the garage. Now I have here that these are gonna bloom early summer to frost. Is that right? That's right. Truth in advertising. And these well, are I thought maybe my notes were wrong because I always think about the roses I see that just pop up here and there and then you're done for the year. Well, wow. There are a lot of one-time bloomers out there yeah. and they're beautiful. I enjoy those too. But if you've got a smaller garden, uh, you need everything to, to do its job You need job it to be all showy the all the time. Yeah. All the time. And, and these don't rest. And there, there's that beautiful angel face. You can smell that when you go by. And what we do is that we go to the fields. I meet with the rose breeders and I pick out the ones that I want. I look, and it's not just about how pretty they are. Do they hold up? Do yeah. they really bloom all summer long? And I love it that what they do, but guess what we did? We got the mature ones. This is not a little potted plant. You gotta wait two years. This is what I'm shipping out. And you're shipping two of those. And say the price again. This is four easy payments of seven dollars and forty-seven cents. But here's Look, how I like to think: I like that easy pay. Full size. But this is under. Just think of it this way: each one is under fifteen dollars. You are not finding this at the garden center. Well, you're not. You're it's just hard not. to find climbing roses besides in just the any solid price, right? red or the solid pink. What we did: we dug up mature climbing roses, cut the top off, bare rooted them plant them just at the top of the root zone in any kind of average soil. The more sun you give it, the more blooms you're gonna have. These will erupt and then they'll start sending their stalks up. You'll get blooms this year and they'll achieve full height by next season. So this year we get some of the flowers, by next year it's the whole full wow. Height. Right, and if you've got an arbor area or a gateway area and you wanna get them to grow over the top, they'll meet in the middle. Oh my gosh, so this is the angel face. You're also getting that beautiful handle which is amazing too because they look like they have painted edges. They really do. I mean, this is the entire Hallelujah Chorus right here. Wow. All of these beautiful colors. The closer you get to it, the better. And again, think about going to the garden center and looking for climbing roses. You will find a red one, you'll find a pink one, you'll find a yellow one, but this has got character. This has also got fragrance. The closer you get, the better it looks. A lot of things look great from a distance. You get close and you want to start running. These, you want to get even closer to these. Fragrance is incredible. That, again, is handled. And then we've paired it up with the beautiful angel face, which is my 
favorite of all the climbing roses. I was just looking, these are going to do okay in the heat too. They love the heat. My mom had Angel Face down in Mississippi. She lived in the Mississippi Delta okay. and it's hot, it's humid, and they worked. And that's the trick. Cottage Farms, by the way, is located in Mobile, Alabama. It's hot as Hades down there. <laughs> and if the roses will work in that type of environment, they'll work for you in, in a less harsh environment. That's why I spend the rest of the summer. See, after I finish up here, I go looking around and we find plants for you that work. I meet with the rose breeders, then we try them in the harshest yeah. conditions. Oh, and look at these. Wow. It looks like bougainvillea. Except so it's now, not Philip, tropical. if you wanted something like this, maybe buy a few sets. I'm guessing. Well, that is that's two. That's one set. Oh. That's one set. That once they get established, that's what they do because the rose will clamor. In fact, if you've got a small. Well, I'm glad I asked that question because I thought you were going to say, well, maybe get a couple of sets, but eventually you could have something like that. You can do that because you see these climbing roses. If you've ever been to Nantucket or mm -hmm. coastal New England, you'll see those houses where they grow them on the side and even up onto the roof of the house. These are on, on low profile houses. But if you've got a utility shed that's in the sun, you can plant these on the side of the utility shed they will actually get up on the roof and you'll wow. have what I like to call a rose cottage. Nice, that's amazing. It's a fabulous look. So if, in fact, you can go online and just pull up roses in New England and you'll see they've got them growing all over the roofs and these are the kinds of roses that they use for that. But you don't have to be in New England. Now, if you're in New England, fine. But you know, if you're in Alabama or Oregon, that's fine too, Colorado. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Over 500 have already been ordered. This is the last day that Philip's going to be here for the season. Take advantage of this. It's also the day where all of our garden items on air and online are on least four easy payments. It's a good day to plan your garden. It's not too late. Everything you see here will be shipped to you at exactly the right time. And actually, Philip, you, can you explain that to us? Of course. Take a look at our zone map, and this is just going to give you a heads up as when the plants will arrive. Pick your area of the country out, match it to your color-coded box, and off to the right-hand side of your box are the dates when the plants will ship. Nothing ships until it's perfectly safe to plant in your area. And if you've never gardened before, or if this is your first time with us, by the way, welcome. Gardening Made Easy by Cottage Farms is just that. We aren't happy if you aren't happy, and we warrant our perennials for a full year and annuals for 90 days from time of shipment. If for any reason you're dissatisfied, Cottage Farms will replace your plant with a similar or comparable one, no charge. If your placement's not available or it's too late in the season to ship, it ships the following shipping season. But you know the best guarantee of all? Fertilize your plants, and we have a rose fertilizer. You can ask your operators in case you picked up our climbing roses. Nice, okay, we're moving on to living in LA. This is a California collection yes, that indeed. will work for you no matter where you live in the right. country. We're gonna show you 12 day lilies. The They're all are the 12 lilies that are gonna be yours. And here's the deal. They are a dollar and change a piece. Each one of these less than $2 a piece. All 12 